Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So welcome to your readings for February 2019. I want to wish all of my Aquarians out there a very happy birthday. We are officially in Aquarius season as far as Western astrology is concerned. Uh, I also want to wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day, maybe, if you're doing anything, if you're celebrating. I hope you have a great one. And if you're not such a fan, then forget I even said that, right? Right? <laughs> so these are general readings, okay? Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and send me an email, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. All of the readings that I offer are listed in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out and read through those. See if you, whichever one you would like and then shoot me an email. If you can't decide, then still email me and we can discuss the situation a little bit and I will help you pick out the best reading to move forward with, yeah? We are using the Golden Universal Tarot for the readings with the Oracle of the uh, Unicorns, hee hee hee, for a little bit of Oracle guidance, yeah? Um, uh, just one thing that I want to mention about the readings. I recommend that people watch the uh, the, the Leo reading and the Capricorn reading. Leo, because we just had that super blood moon eclipse on the 20th of sep uh, September, no, January, excuse me. I don't know why I said September, but um, the 20th of January. And depending on like, say if Leo was a, is, is a big thing in your chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus or whatever, or depending on what house Leo is in for you, you could get some good insight as to what may have happened uh, around or what may be shifting around that full moon that we had, the super blood moon eclipse. The Capricorn video, I also recommend that people watch, uh, re regardless if you have Capricorn in a major placement, as a major placement like Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You, with that one, you may also want to look into where Capricorn may be, what house it may be in in your chart. For some reason, there was just a lot of major collective energy that was coming through, at least in the very beginning of that reading. So I recommend that maybe if you're interested, if, there, if that's piqued your interest, if you resonate with that a little bit, to go ahead and watch that reading, yeah? If you are in the New York City metro area, come through and see me every Friday at Om Shanti Bookshop. I am there doing in-person readings from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The link to their website is in the description box below. Go ahead and check their, uh, check their website out. You can give them a call and schedule a reading in advance with me or any of the other fantastic readers there. We have astrologers, palm readers, tarot and oracle card readers like myself, and we're all really good at what we do. <laughs> yeah. They also have a really excellent crystal selection, a card selection between tarot and oracle cards. They do have a nice book selection, uh, essential oils, incense, sage, palo santo, anything that you might want. I'm pretty sure Om Shanti has it. Yes. And they do ship locally or oh, well, remotely. They do ship their, their, um, uh, uh, they can ship things. <laughs> Go ahead and give them a call. If you like, you can make it a, an order over the phone or you can do it online. Yes. And finally, I am on Instagram and um, Facebook. You can go ahead and follow me there. The links are in the description box below. Okay. So I think that's it. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get to it, guys. Hey there, Leo, Leo fam. Welcome to your reading for February 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into it. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Leos, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for February 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. <clears throat> All right, Leo. So in channeling your energy, um, I'm seeing a lot of green. And um, well, I'll show you now. I'm seeing a lot of green, which is talking to the heart chakra. And um, I was doing a little bit of a pre-shuffle, getting started and getting ch getting into your energies and whatnot. And I was seeing the green. Um, but then the, the three of swords ended up on the bottom of the deck here. And I do feel like there is a lot of heart healing that's happening. Um, and what I'm getting with this is pride and ego. Now, 
uh, Leos are no strangers to pride and to ego. Leo is ruled by the sun, um, and the sun is the uh, it's like a major archetype of masculine energy, which is where the pride and the ego really will say does most of its damage. But also that's where you'll find those parts of us, right? So um, this is not a bad thing, though. Um, what I'm getting with this is that there's a lot of healing that's happening when it comes to pride and ego. This could be um, going through the past and um, reliving certain events to gain some sort of clarity or new insight <clears throat> into them, which is helping you to um, start to put your ego in check, start to put your pride into check. Now, I don't want any of you to feel bad about this. Um, Leo is the ruler of pride. Leo is the ruler of ego. So these are, and we all have these parts to us. But what I'm really feeling is that for Leo, you're really starting at this point right now, especially with all the planetary transits we've been having this, you know, this, especially this last full moon that we had, which was in Leo. Um, there's a lot of clearing, a lot of cleansing, a lot of uh, healing and ascending because of this healing that's happening. All right, Leo. So that's really beautiful. Okay, I'm going to get one more shuffle for you guys, and then we'll get into the NLGs. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Let's cut the deck here. Boop. All right, Leo. Overall energy. We're starting you off with, ha, the Queen of Cups. Now, you can be, you could be dealing with a Cancerian. For some of you, this is your mother or this is a mother figure for you. It doesn't necessarily have to be a Cancerian. She could be, or he even, I'm talking energies here. This is energy, not gender. For some of you, it is specifically your mother, but it could also be um, <clears throat> any sign, any water sign really, uh, mainly if you want to talk about sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or it can be anybody. It doesn't have to be about a sign. Now, it can be physically a mother. Uh, a, like a, a woman in gender, but um, staying away from gender norms and gender and staying gender neutral. This could be a man who embodies a mother like figure for you, has been a mother like figure for you, or embodies that feminine, divine feminine energy, that mother type energy. Okay. Um, for others of you, this is that heart chakra cleansing and healing that I'm talking about. And it's through compassion. Sorry, guys, there's <laughs> there's sage ash all over my desk and if you can see here i have this new blemish <sighs> it's okay don't worry about it it's just from the sage it's all good <laughs> um but for others of you this is the heart chakra cleansing and healing that we're talking about and it's happening through compassion and if you're going through reliving some past circumstances yes it can be tumultuous it can um, bring up some really deep emotions some things that you might have buried under the rug some things that you may not have really looked at in the past the queen of cups is often depicted as a woman who's looking like staring intently into her cup to me, this is talking about looking into your emotions to get a better understanding of them. Also to reconnect with them in some way. Um, so if you've been fragmented from your emotions, like say you are, you embody more of the masculine energy, you really could be uh, learning from the divine feminine energies, learning about getting into your emotions uh, and feeling them and healing through that feeling, okay? You've got, whoa, look at that. You've got the tower. You've got the high priestess and you've got the page of pentacles. Good Lord, does this all make sense? So uh, the tower is that energy of destruction, but destruction that leads le gives way to creation. The tower energy is extremely destructive, but it's just as constructive as it is destructive, at least in my opinion, or at least it has the ability to be. It could just be completely destructive and you're left with nothing. Nothing. You're left with rubble, but then you have to be the one to rebuild, okay, from there. Now, you also have the High Priestess, and the High Priestess is the most psychic a be a being in the deck, okay? Um, the only other one who compares to her would be the Queen of Cups, but she's, you could say, a level down because the Queen of Cups is minor arcana, which is the everyday life, whereas the High Priestess is major arcana. This is big universal cycles, spiritual cycles, and all that stuff. What the, what the, the High Priestess 
especially coupled with the Queen of Cups is saying is that there is a lot of deep, deep learning. A lot of major secrets that may have been maybe coming forward towards you. You may really be working on improving your psychic abilities or they may just be really improving naturally as you go through the ascension process. Also, um, deep, dark secrets could be coming forward. Um, downloads from the universe may be coming through for you. Uh, psychic awareness expanding, like I said. And then with the Page of Pentacles here, you're reaching a new level. I have been, I consistently see the Page of Pentacles as a level up when it comes to corporeal uh, existence, 3D reality, the earth realm, okay? Um, I really do see a lot of you guys, either you, Leo, or someone around you is leveling up. Let's get into your current energies. The first row is going to be the current energies moving into the month of February. Second row is going to be upcoming energies in the month of February. First set of surrounding energies moving into February, you have, yes, the Ace of Cups. This is divine love. I'm hearing divine union, but this is divine union within. You will not be able to find a, a union with another person external to you until you find that union within. But this is also filling up your cup of self-love, giving love to yourself, loving yourself for who you are, regardless of what anybody says or thinks about you. And that is very much all of what Leo stands for, okay? Ace of Cups is coupled with the Eight of Cups. So you are definitely leaving the past behind you. In many cases, for, for a lot of you, you have these eight cups here um, and they've been stacked neatly, but it's not the complete 10, so it's not completely fulfilling. For some of you, I am getting this has a lot to do with family, friends. It doesn't have to be blood relatives. It could be people that have been around you for a long time or people that you really consider to be your close friends or family, that kind of situation. But you're leaving the past behind. You're leaving these situations behind in order for you to facilitate the manifestation of bigger and better things, all right? Second set of surrounding energies for moving into February, you have the King of Wands. This is officially you in the Minor Arcana. It could be another fire sign that you're dealing with, or it could be anybody, okay? Um, but I really feel like this is you, Leo. This is you really getting back to who you are, what you stand for, what you believe in, getting reconnected with things that you may have forgotten about or put on the back burner, completely trashed, even though you might trash it thinking that you'll never experience it again, you'll never have a chance to experience again, but that's just not the case. Um, it just you know, sinks back into your subconscious and bubbles around there for a while until you get that spark to pick it back up again. And I do feel like that's what what's happening here for some of you you are getting creative you're starting to learn or yes you're starting to learn more about your creative abilities maybe you might be researching some things um you know going back to school potentially uh for others of you this is just getting back to who you are okay the king of wands is coupled with the ace of wands wow so <laughs> you have two depictions of someone holding a wand here so for some of you you really are getting some sort of creative uh, 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 inspiration moving towards expression like i said some of you are learning about how to do that um getting some deeper training maybe going back to school um uh, for others of you there could be a, a player aspect within you um your sexual uh your sexual energies, which are also creative energies, they're basically one and the same, um, are being spiked, are peaking potentially. You might be getting your, you're getting your groove back. Um, so I can just go ahead and call some of y'all Stella. Mm -hmm. I know that's right, honey. <laughs> uh, but for others of you, um, if you are not the Leo or if you are not going through this, there could be someone around you that really wants to boogie, one really, really wants to get down, sees you maybe for who you are and wants to be creative, ex creatively expressive around towards you, around you, or maybe just wants to do the nasty, bump some boots, you know what I mean? And so use your discretion there. Um, uh, for some of you, there could be a realization that this is all that this person wants from you. And because you're finding that divine love and union within yourself, you're finding the strength to walk away. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I do live in New York City. But um, you're getting the strength to walk away, potentially, for some of you. For others of you, I feel like this is welcomed. So, hey, do the do, boo-boo. Um, ooh, now, okay, for others of you, you're, this identity of yours that you're um, having a tower moment around, the divine feminine energies are waking this up within you, um, we could be talking about 
uh, sexuality, your your sexual uh, sexuality, your identification within the realm of sexuality is changing, is adapting, is growing, is expanding. Um, you could be interested in trying some things that you never would have allowed yourself to try in the past or never would have believed you would be into sexually, creatively, whatever. Um, there's a lot of exploration. There's a lot of deep healing that's happening. There's a lot of deep revelations that are happening. Um, and that that really absolutely could lead to a tower moment, okay? And for some of you, for some of you, you're looking to express this. And that's a beautiful thing. And that could create a tower moment, um, not for you, but the people around you. So in that sense, you could be the tower moment for others around you, okay? Your challenge, moving into the month of February, you get the Seven of Cups, all right? Okay, yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm hearing gender re-identification. So some of you could be coming to terms with the fact that you might be gender neutral or you might be transgender in some way. Uh, for others of you, your sexuality is expanding, changing, and growing, so now you're being open to all of these different illusions. But for others of you, this, if it's not that, if it's not sexual in nature, the Seven of Cups is speaking to all of the different things that you need to go through and identify and heal, okay? And that, yeah, that can be challenging because it does feel like a lot. There are a lot of things that are coming up for you from your past that are needing healing, that are needing to be looked at, okay? This person is seen is depicted here looking at all of these different cups potentially trying to make a decision there could be a lot of confusion around you and that absolutely can be very very challenging okay but each and every one of these cups needs to be gone through in due time no one's trying to rush you here but all of these cups need to be gone through so that you can really heal so that you can heal, really heal the divine masculine is how spirit actually wanted me to end that statement the seven of cups and that's the, that would be the divine masculine within you okay the Seven of Cups in your challenge is coupled with the Knight of Swords going straight into battle, charging. And now this is mental, okay? Um, the, the Suit of Wands is uh, about communication. It's also about the mind. Uh, going straight into battle, all right? And this is actually a perfect energy to have on your, at your disposal when dealing with a situation like this. Just be careful. The Knight of Swords energy can be quite volatile. So you might be in a pretty testy place right now. Be careful with any communications that you might have with people. If you do need to hash things, some things out, please, please, please try to be as diplomatic as possible. Please try, please try to uh, take in as much of the Queen of Cups energy as you can, which is compassionate and unconditionally loving. Please understand that everybody has their own point of view. Points of view are subjective. There is no such thing as right or wrong. There is only perception and experience, all right? So just because you don't resonate with someone or some uh, or someone else doesn't resonate with you does not mean that either of you are intrinsically wrong. You just have differing opinions, okay? Your closing message or potential outcome for these energies moving into February, you have the fool. Well, my, 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 ain't that beautiful. Starting uh, a whole new chapter, turning over a brand new leaf. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that it has to take effect in your life physically. This is major arcana. So this could, this absolutely will have to start energetically or on a spiritual level first before it can manifest into your 3D reality, okay? Now, keep that in mind. If this is not you, Leo, if this is someone else around you that's going through this, please, please, please be patient because the new cycle is starting, all right? Or if it's not necessarily starting right now, they are investigating. They're, mo they're making their way there, okay? The Fool is coupled with, oh shit, the King of Cups. My, 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 don't we have the counterparts here? This is a brand new beginning for the inner divine masculine. You don't have to be a twin flame to resonate with the divine masculine or the divine feminine archetype. We all have those energies within, okay? We are going through a collective shift. And so this is, in fact, the energies of the divine masculine. Now, for some of you, there could be a, pi uh, uh, I'm sorry, a Scorpio because... Uh, the King of Cups does represent the archetype of Scorpio. 
which is a fixed sign just like Leo, which is why the King of Wands would represent the archetype of Leo because Leo is a fixed sign, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't have to be a Scorpio. It could be a Pisces or a Cancerian, or it could be someone else. It doesn't have to be a water sign. But this is someone that is really getting in touch with their emotions. And especially with the Fool here, they're moving into a cycle of being emotionally mature, um, and this does, this isn't going to happen right away. It's not going to happen overnight for a lot of people. I'm picking up. This is a, tr this is a process, but this is the start of being emotionally mature, being emotionally connected, but also being of the mindset of taking action when it comes to your emotions. Okay. Moving forward in February, the upcoming energies moving into February for a set of surrounding circumstances or energies you've got. Wow, the Page of Cups. So this can talk about an apology. Um, but this is also that brand new start. You can look at the Page of Cups. You can look at any of the pages as a level up. Starting over, starting into, moving into a new cycle. And this is definitely having to do with the emotions. Um, some things, a lot of people do say that this has already manifested in the fact that there is a fish in that cup. It's entirely possible. So by the time you move through February, you, this right, uh, this might actually start to manifest in your life. This, uh, this, this emotional security, this emotional abundance, this emotional level up, this emotional maturity that's represented by the King of Cups. Okay, but don't put any expectations on any on much happening too quickly because again, this is the page you are moving into a brand new cycle. All right. Page of Cups is coupled with the Wheel of Fortune. My, my, my. Again, a brand new start. Um, 10 is a completion. 10 in the Major Arcana is the Wheel of Fortune. Um, this could be also, this could be an ending of cycles when it comes to emotional immaturity, all right? But the seasons are changing. Either for you, Leo, or someone else around you. Second set of surrounding energies moving deeper into February. We have the star healing, wish fulfillment. Um, what I'm hearing from many of you or for someone that's uh, that you're associated with, connecting with, um, healing is on the horizon. Wish fulfillment, most, it, uh, most importantly, wish fulfillment is on the horizon. This is ultimate wish fulfillment. And spirit is guiding me to remind you guys that it doesn't necessarily have to come from this person that you are desiring it to come from. It really absolutely can come from someone else. Whoever the universe aligns you with is going to be the best person for you to be aligned with at that time to receive some sort of healing, learn some sort of message, or to get some sort of wish fulfillment, okay? You could be dealing with an Aquarian. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. The star is, con is uh, coupled with the hanged man, all right? So you could be dealing with a, Pisce a Piscean. Now, um, oh, also Spirit is wanting me to point out that the high priestess can speak to Pisces as well. Um, so there can be some bit of a holdup here. All right. So that's why spirit is saying healing and, or wish fulfillment is on the horizon. Um, it's not quite here yet. There are still some, uh, there's still some deeper understanding or a new, uh, perspective or some sort of enlightenment that's coming through here or that needs to come through here in order for you to receive this healing or this, I'm sorry, deep healing or deep wish fulfillment. Okay. But don't look at it as a bad thing. It's absolutely a good thing. Even though being in the hanged man state can be fairly uncomfortable, um, you could feel stagnant, you could feel stuck, uh, take advantage of it because it's serving a greater purpose, okay? Your challenge, moving deeper into February, you have, oh, the Ten of Cups. But this is your challenge here because this is what you're moving towards. This is what you're aligning with, okay? It's a deeper understanding of what would be ideal for you. What is your Ten of Cups? What is your ultimate uh, emotional fulfillment? Um, some of you are dealing with uh, family issues, like I said, um, and you're challenged to look at your family circle differently. Does your family circle whether that's blood relatives or just uh, friends, does that serve your highest good? Does that serve your wish fulfillment? And you're having to realign with what will. So you might have to leave some people behind. Eight of cups, okay? 10 of cups is coupled with the three of wands. So, okay, there is more of that um, 
uh, stuck or stagnant energy, but it's not as stuck or stagnant as the hanged man. It's only feeling potentially stuck because now you're in a process of waiting for your ships to come in. You've done a lot of work. You've made quite a bit of investment towards what is your true fulfillment. And so now you just have to allow the universe to deliver it to you. That does not mean that your work stops here because with the three of wands, even though you've already gotten the ball rolling, you've invested and now you're waiting for a return, there is also still more you can do to keep that momentum going. Just keep yourself in alignment with that vibration, okay? Your closing message or the potential outcome, moving deeper into February, you have the Queen of Wands. My, 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 we've got two sets of counterparts here. We could be talking about Twin Flames, yes, um, because I do see the King of Wands as the, the, the minor arcana depiction of the Divine Masculine and the Queen of Wands as the minor de arcana depiction of the Divine Feminine, all right? Um, but this is being in a manifestation state in the form of attraction, yes? Um, someone could be coming to you. The Divine Feminine could be aligning with you or you could be aligning with the Divine Feminine. This could be your twin flame in the external or it most likely, in most cases, it needs to be the Divine Feminine within you first, okay? But I do see a lot of you really starting to really embody more of the Divine Feminine archetype, especially if you embody more of the Divine Feminine, or I'm sorry, Divine Masculine archetype. Again, you do not have to be a twin flame to resonate with that, we all have those energies within. What I'm getting, the big message that I'm getting from the Queen of Wands is the Divine Feminine coming to you. And I don't mean that she's coming forward to like say something, she's not necessarily going to contact you or anything, but she would be coming to you in the fact that you would be aligning with that energy, all right? The Queen of Wands is coupled with, ooh, 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 the King of Swords now. All right, so uh, before I go any further, the Queen of Wands is the archetype of Aries. You could be dealing with an Arian. Um, it doesn't have to be, it could be another Leo, or it could be a Sagittarius, or it could be anybody. And uh, with the King of Swords here, you could be dealing with an Aquarian, um, because Aquarius is the fixed air sign. Also, you do have the star here, which could be talking about an Aquarian. This is interesting. What I'm getting with the Queen of Wands and the King of Swords is um, if the Queen of Wands, as in the Divine Feminine, is coming towards you, she's not fucking around, all right? She's not the Queen of Swords, which is good, because the King of Swords is way more diplomatic, is way more willing to hear you out. I do see that some of you are going to be aligning with some sort of communication, um, some sort of hashing something out, clearing the air in some way. But just understand if you are a twin flame and you are in the divine masculine camp or not necessarily a twin flame, but if you are a, a masculine energy that's dealing with someone that, that uh, embodies the feminine energy and you've had some rough, uh, rough rocky road between the two of you thus far, um, she's not going to, well, this feminine energy is not going to take any shit. They may, in fact, hear you out, but they probably have some choice words for you, okay? Um, and if you are the feminine energy here, be diplomatic, okay? Please keep in mind that everybody is going through their own process. Everybody has their own point of view. Uh, you might have been hurt, yes, but that does not mean that this person that wants to communicate with you, should they come forward, hasn't necessarily been hurt themselves, either by you in this situation or by people in the past. That does not give them a right to take out their pain, hurt, and anger on you, but that is a reason, all right? So be diplomatic. Okay. Um, also, Spirit is wanting me to, to point out that the King of Swords is about seeing things clearly, seeing things as clearly as possible, right? So that's where the diplomacy comes into play. Okay, so getting into your Oracle section now. Let's get some Oracle Guidance for Leo for the month of February. Best messages, please, Spirit. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February. 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, y'all. Let's see what we've got here for Leo. February, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. February 2019. Ooh, 
chow. All right, anger. Underneath the deck, you have prosperity. A gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. And I'm picking up that for a lot of you, um, this prosperity is coming through as you heal your heart chakra, as you become, as you get deeper into your own true form of authenticity. Your message here is anger. Safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred. And the big thing that I get with anger, mostly this card, is to allow your emotions to be your fuel. Not to be confrontational with it, not to be your fuel to start a fight, to pick a fight, to, 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 to rip someone a new one, to get back at someone. But use your all of your emotions, whether they're positive or negative, um, but especially anger. Anger is really really potent fuel. It's like jet fuel, okay? So harness your anger should you have any um, dwelling within you and use that as a way to propel you forward to um, manifest that which is in better alignment with you, that which would serve you better. All right, Leo, beautiful reading. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you all again very, very soon. Yeah, take care. Mwah! Bye.